My name is Keigo Ito. I'm a 27-year-old office worker. I stand out a bit in my office. The reason is probably because... Chief Nase is so pretty today as well. Where would you want to go if you could go on a date with her? I want to go to Nase Aquarium. I want to go to a jazz bar. What about you, Itokun? The Nanakuma Art Museum or something? Me? Hmm. The Nanakuma Pancake Shop. What? What? I wasn't expecting that. So you were a Muharin, huh, Itokun? Judging by the reaction, I probably said something weird again. Apparently, I'm a bit different from your average guy. Unfortunately for me, though, I have a girl I like just like everyone else. Chief Inase, the current topic of conversation. But that means you want to go on a date with Chief Nanase as well, right, Itakun? Oh yeah, kind of. Kind of? A date with Chief Nanase? Of course I want to go on one. How much so, you ask? I want to go to the Nanakuma Pancake Shop with her and then watch her smile while looking at cute pancakes, and then try not to smile myself. Itakun? Oh, nothing. Anyways, even if I do like Chikanase, I know that she wouldn't be interested in someone as boring as me. And that's why I always support her from behind stage. I'm satisfied with just looking at how cool and cute she is. You're always so silent, Itakun. Sometimes you can't even understand you. No. Oh. It's about time for Chief Inase to return to her meeting. I better casually welcome her back. All right, I gotta go now. What? We were just talking about him. But he left as if he had nothing to do with it. He really is a strange person. That's when a small accident occurred. We were doing the yearly evacuation drill when... Chief Inase is this year's supervisor. Ah... Uh, I'm so lucky being able to do an evacuation drill with her. What? It's raining. Hi. Is everyone all right? Let's go back inside. What? Hmm? Chief Nase. Her shirt's see-through now that it's wet. Chief Nase wasn't wearing a jacket. Her shirt got wet due to the sudden rain. Lucky? I looked. This is bad. People shouldn't be able to see under her shirt like this. The guy next to me has a huge grin on his face. I moved quickly and recovered her with my jacket. What? Thanks, Itakun, but I'm fine. It'd be bad if you caught a cold. It's starting to get cold, so you should wear this. She's so nice. To think that she would worry about me like this. Not just that, but she isn't paying attention to the fact that we can see through her shirt. What should I do? She doesn't understand how attractive she is. No, you wear this for now, Chief Nanase. I'll even give it to you if you want. Huh? What do you mean, give it to me? It's because you're an attractive woman. What? Even if you do look like you wear an iron mask, you're a woman. Wear this jacket until your shirt dries. An iron mask? Damn it, it slipped out of my mouth. Chief Nase, who I love so much, was so close to me. And so I couldn't keep calm and said something incredulous. I've always been like this. Apparently, I look like a silent person from the outside. But inside my head, I'm always talking. Not only that, but when I get nervous, I end up saying weird things. Which is why I tried hard until now not to say anything unnecessary. But to think that I'd slip up in front of Chief Nase? Itakun. Yes? Come to my desk later. Yes. That's how I ended up being called at Chief Nase's office. This is Ito. Otsukurasama Itakun. I was waiting for you. It looks like she's in a bad mood. But she's still so pretty. Wait, she's still wearing my jacket. So happy. Thanks for the jacket earlier. It was a big help. It's nothing. What? She just thanked me. This is heaven. She's always so calm. And she rarely compliments me, so this is wonderful. Anyways, I know this is sudden, but are you available tonight? 
Well, I know she asked me what my plans for tonight are. Wait, why did she ask that? Um. So, what do you say? What do I say? What does she mean by that? How should I reply? I'll leave it to you. I see. I'll take care of it then. Yes, it'd be my pleasure. I didn't quite get it, but apparently I just agreed to tonight. That night. Chief Inase? Hey, Irukun. Tell me what you really think. Huh? What do you think of me? Tell me the truth. The truth? Before I knew it, I was in a jazz bar with Chief Inase in front of me. And now she's asking me what I think of her. I can say it? It doesn't seem like I can just stay silent. Uh, I'll just say it. I like you, Chief Manase. What? I'm gonna be honest. I love you. Y y you love me? When I first joined this company, I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. Ever since then, I've been your slave. Just making eye contact with you makes my heart beat fast. And just being able to talk to you gets me into such a good mood. And the day you got mad at me, I deeply regretted my mistake. But at the same time, I couldn't help but wriggle from pleasure at the fact that you scolded me. The last one is a bit concerning. What? Concerning? Why? Is it not normal? I'll make sure not to wriggle anymore. Hold on, Itakun. That's not what I was asking. Huh? Weren't you listening to me? I asked you whether you really thought that I look like I have an iron mask on. I was talking to you. And then you suddenly said you liked me and... Um... Ooh, ooh. That means that... Made a misunderstanding and told her how I felt? I'm so embarrassed. What? Itakum? I'm going to be embarrassed about this for the rest of my life. I want to dig myself a hole and hide in it. it it's alright, Itakun. You did nothing embarrassing. Really? Yes. You just told me how you felt. And I could tell it wasn't something light. Yes, that's true. You, you weren't lying, right? Yes. Everything I just said was true. Then there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It made me happy hearing it after all. What? Telling her I like her made her happy? But we can't be in a relationship. What? So, sorry. Chief Anasi just turned me down. I'll shift my way of thinking. Huh? What you were asking me was... Whether I really think that you look like you wear an iron mask or not, right? Y yeah, but... When I said that, I wasn't thinking. But what I really think is that you're cool and composed. Cool and composed, huh? Huh? What's the matter, Chief Nase? Huh? Is there something on your mind? This is terrible. She's been worrying about something since earlier. It's because I said something weird. To tell you the truth, I think I kind of look like my face is made of iron as well. Huh? That's why when you said so yourself, it made me think that that must be what everyone else thinks of me as well. I was surprised. So Chief Manase didn't like how she always looked so calm and composed? That's not true, Chief Manase. What? Everyone at the office looks up to you, to the point of jealousy even. What? Jealousy? Oh, that was bad. I spoke without thinking again. Ignore what I said just now. Um, let me correct myself. Oh, okay. Everyone looks up to you, including how you always look so calm. Being looked at sideways by Chief Inasi is so thrilling, or... Why is she so pretty even though she's always so expressionless? Or, I want to go out with Chief Nase. Or, Chief Nase is a work of art. Just being able to look at her is a blessing. That's just some of the things people say about you. 
Is that so? I'm glad people don't dislike me or anything. Huh? Itakun? Wow. She was so cute just now when she smiled. Y yeah. Why don't we try something then? Huh? I have a plan we can start straight away. A plan that will make our colleagues realize just how amazing you are. What's this plan you're talking about suddenly? The next day, I asked her to set the... I asked her to set the plan in motion as soon as she arrived at the office. Chief Nanasi! Good morning! Good morning. Gaiafun! Good morning, Chief Nanasi! Good morning. Chief Nanasi, the weather's great today, huh? Good morning. This is incredible. The office is filled with people who were struck by Chief Nanasi's smile. I entered the office and was taken aback. And then Chief Nanasi... Oh, Itakun. What should I do? I feel like I did something I shouldn't have. No, everything's fine. Wow, she's so cute even when she looks distressed. I'm sure everyone's in paradise right now. Paradise? A few days later. Um, Itakun? Yes? There's something I want to talk to you about. Hmm? Is this about the plan? All right, leave it to me. Huh? That night. What did you want to talk to me about, Chief? I like you. Huh? Did she just say she liked me? Did I hear you correctly just now? Yes. Uh? I like spending time with you, Itakun. You, you like spending time with me? That's the first time someone said that to me. I mean, ever since you joined the company, you've been saying weird things almost every day. It was always so amusing. Weird things? I I never say anything weird. Yeah, you do. No way. See? <sighs> ever since I was a child, I've always been so expressionless. The people around me even said I was boring. It made me sad hearing that, so I did my best to change. But it was hard finding something I truly enjoyed. But then you started working under me and saying weird things. The people around you couldn't help but laugh. Before I knew it, I was always laughing on the inside as well. What? Really? I didn't notice anything. But I'm your boss, so I thought it would be rude if I suddenly started laughing. That's why I always kept it in. That's such a waste. <laughs> what? Oh, um, nothing. You came up with this plan of yours, right? The Ido-style plan to make our colleagues realize just how amazing Chief Nanasi is? Um, that was a plan name I came up with on the spot that day. She remembered it. I'm so happy. Your plan made me realize something. I realized that it was alright for me to smile as well. Chief Nanasi is smiling again. She has such a kind face when she does. I like you. Huh? Um, sorry, my mouth slipped again. Say it again. What? It makes me happy hearing it. It makes me happy hearing you say you like me. I want you to say it more. Y yes When you first told me you liked me, I said no, because I was your boss and thought it was impossible. But... It's not like relationships between colleagues is banned at our company. You're an honest person. And I realize that I like you as well, so I want to go out with you. Chief Anase, you're the one who's honest. Please, go out with me. Yes. And so, me and Chief Anase became a couple. What? You and Chief Anase are going out? I'm so jealous with her as well what I haven't been this shaken in five years I was pretty shaken as well why my colleagues made a huge fuss when they found out about our new relationship but she has been smiling a lot more recently isn't it because she's going out with Itakun now 
So that means we benefit from this as well. I forgive you then. Thanks. So are you going to go there with Chief Nanasi? To the Nanakuma pancake shop you like? Oh, it's Chief Nanasi and not me who likes this place. <laughs> what? Uh, I knew nothing about that. She's always calm and composed, but likes cute things, huh? Hmm? That means that you look carefully at the people around you, huh, Ito? That's a plus in my book. I only found out since I liked her and always paid attention. All the notebooks and post-its she uses have cute bear characters on them. Just as you could have guessed, she loves the Nanakuma Pancake Shop. And apparently, she goes there on her own a lot. That's why I'm going there this weekend, with Chief Nanase. I'm sure I'll be able to see your smile there. <laughs>